Peanut the Squirrel and Fred the Raccoon were internet celebrities, as hundreds of thousands of social media users followed their animal sanctuary in New York, until for some reason, the state came after them. But they sent six to eight officers to my house from Albany to confiscate a squirrel and a raccoon, and it was signed off on a search warrant. And the more you know, the worse it gets. Peanut was the cornerstone of our nonprofit animal rescue. And 10 to 12 DEC officers raided my house as if I was a drug dealer. I was sat outside my house for five hours. I had to get a police escort to my bathroom. I wasn't even allowed to feed my rescue horses breakfast or lunch. I was sit sat there like a criminal. After they interrogated my wife, to check out her immigration status, then proceeded to ask me if I had cameras in my house, then proceeded to go through every cabinet, nook, and cranny of my house for a squirrel and a raccoon, and then they took them and killed them. Now, the Daily Mail reported on the squirrel story, stating the Department of Environmental Conservation received several complaints about Peanut, as it was deemed potentially unsafe housing of wildlife, which is against the law. Then NBC reported that during his detainment, Peanut the squirrel bit one of the officers, and despite squirrels rarely being infected with rabies, and apparently not being known to have ever spread it to humans, the DEC still tested Peanut and Fred for rabies, euthanizing them in the process. My Twitter feed is now 90% justifiable outrage about Peanut the Squirrel, as this ended the lives of not only two beloved family pets, but an internet celebrity that everybody could clearly see was never a danger to anybody. And I could somewhat understand why the DEC would get involved, as people have been known to take in bears, alligators, and even monkeys, thinking they're just being quirky until it mauls them or a member of the public. And although the police do have a history of being nervous around anybody carrying an acorn, in the case of Peanut, unless you were made out of Eggo waffles, I think you would be fine. Now there were responses showing President Donald Trump spoke out, saying if the illegal squirrel was from Mexico, New York would have given him a free hotel and a $500 gift card. But that was a fake story. Then there was an article that looked like The Atlantic, stating how the squirrel became a rallying cry of the far right. That was also a fake story. Then social media users found the Instagram that linked to his Twitter is actually just a click funnel to his other content. And that's a story I refuse to verify, since seemingly everything that goes viral lately is actually an advertisement for that stuff, as I'm beginning to think the internet was a mistake. But what's really important here is how this is a perfect example of government idiocy, where these organizations get so bloated they completely lose the original intent behind their conception. It's completely reasonable for a Department of Environmental Conservation to exist on paper, but now we're noticing they seem to have unlimited resources to serve raids on animal sanctuaries with six plus officers that somehow still get ambushed by a singular squirrel, getting Peanut the death penalty. And remember, this is a state that has all these resources to capture a squirrel and a raccoon doing nothing about the 3 million plus rats that live in New York City. So it makes you wonder when the Department of Environmental Conservation stops being about conserving the environment, maybe the state's money is better spent on going after other crimes like murders. Which makes this story especially important around election season. As I admit, I haven't voted in a very long time until recently. And I was actually shocked to see all the local measures on my ballot, all asking for millions more to do the things my tax dollars should already be funding. But there's so much unchecked nonsense in government spending, even with 50% of my income going to them, they still somehow don't have enough. So next time they ask you to vote for an extra percent in sales tax to resurface a street, Remember how you paid for a Department of Environmental Conservation to execute a squirrel. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how an entire YouTuber crew got ambushed by one angry Korean.